Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the Vrooms. And alright, let's play some more Asphalt 9 in the global version, I'm playing on Android. And that is because I want to test, well, you can see by the title, I want to test this fancy new car that is supposed to be the king of Class C, and that is the AMG GT Black Series. Now, right now there is a Grand Prix going for it, so I have gotten around to drive the car a little bit. But the reality is that that doesn't tell me a whole lot. Because I only have gotten to drive it at one star, which is how you, you try it on the on the Grand Prix. But now there's a multiplayer series for where you can use this car and at maximum stats. So I really want to see how it does. Like I said, it's supposed to be the king of Class C, but we know how Game Love is, and sometimes what they call a king turns out to not really be a king. So we're gonna check this out and see what we get. I think it was a Pagani Huayra R that they added, I don't know, like a year ago or maybe less, I don't I don't remember. But that was supposed to be also the king, I think, of class B, but turns out that it's not necessarily... No, or is it class A? Well, whatever class it is, it was supposed to be the king of that, and while it is a great car, it is not the undisputed king. So there is that. I think it was kind of the same with the Lamborghini Kunta Shell PI when it got added. Um, so there's a little bit of maybe, maybe not. So let's see how this car performs, because I'm really curious about it. Um, the thing that I noticed at one star is that the drift was absolutely atrocious. And at gold, I don't know, I have to try it a bit more. And that, that drift I just did didn't feel terrible, but then again, I am doing it at gold. Um, I don't know, I guess, I guess we're gonna find out, but man, what a beautiful car this is. Um, Mercedes with a big wing at the back, it looks amazing. Also, I painted it in, in this orange color because you may or may not know that I really like cars in orange, so this looks pretty dope. But we're gonna be changing the color, lip, color a little bit from race to race just to see this thing in its different iterations. I think I'm Mercedes in my, in my... Okay, yeah, this drift is a little bit iffy. It's not amazing. It seems to lose a bunch of speed while you're drifting. Um, but in my mind, um, the Mercedes are, are silver. That's it. <laughs> Anytime I think of Mercedes, I think of a silver car. Which means that they did their branding really, really good. Because it's it's kind of like um, an iconic color for the Massive Pros. I don't know. I guess there's a ton of cars that are silver. But I don't know. To me, you think of a silver car, you think of whatever. When you think of a Mercedes, it's a, it's a silver car. At least that is for me. I don't know what, it, what if it's the same for you. So why don't you tell me in the comments? Do you think the same or, or no? All right, so what happened over there? Well, honestly, it, no point on looking at the leaderboard. Everybody's driving the exact same car, so... Eh. And this already is a, broke the 4,000 rank. Jesus Christ. All right, so... Talking about colors, it does have a bunch of official colors. There it is, the classic silver, orangey that I was using, straight up white. Uh, kind of matte, or is this... Yeah, this is matte, isn't it? Matte, uh, dark, gray. We got green, we got some black, proper black, we got blue. Oh, that blue looks kind of dope. And another tone of silver. What's the difference between... Oh, this is a lighter silver, this is a darker silver. Ah, oh, it looks kind of dope. But all right, let's go with the normal silver and let's continue doing some races. Okay, now we're in top speed area. Cool. Oh, and by the way, you may notice that my game does not look frosty anymore. What? DBT, how did you do it? Well, I actually had to switch from from emulator. In Bluestacks, when I, where I tried originally to play this game, it would only give me 30 FPS. So that's why eventually I had to switch to LD Player, which is the one that I've been using for a very long time. But after some update, then I got the frosty issue. Well, the entire game looked super frosty because there was no reflections, there were no materials other than mats. And that made the game look kind of meh. Um, but recently I decided to give another shot to, to Bluestacks because I realized that uh, by now you can install a different version of the OS uh, for Bluestacks. You can install Android Pie. So I tried it with it. I don't know if it's the settings. I, I don't know what it is, but for some reason this one works at 60 FPS and it doesn't look like garbage. So that's good. <laughs> um, so yeah, now the problem is that there's random slowdowns from time to time. It is completely random, It and actually one of the reasons why I decided to look away from LD Player where I was simulating it before is because I was getting some massive frame drops. And it's kind of funny because in that one I get uh, frame drops, in, in this 
in, in here in blue stacks what i get instead of just frame drops it feels like the game goes in slow motion you know there's a difference between going slow motion and just missing frames if you know the difference you know and if not don't worry about it the point is that it's a different situation but while also being very annoying at least the game looks all right so I'm, I'm testing so far with blue stacks again which is how i'm playing it right now and that is how it actually looks quite a lot it looks fine i think but look at that first place then again i'm racing against people who probably don't have a ton of experience in the game so it kind of makes sense for me to be doing all right all right switch to green just you know there's so many in in the white silver and black colors that i wanted to also spring a little bit of 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 the other colors in between now obviously this being asphalt 9 it has few limitations so i can only do four races with this thing but after that, I'll pause the recording, I'll watch a bunch of videos, uh, a bunch of fads, in order to uh, refuel the car as quickly as possible, so that I can do a few more races. But, uh, let me tell you, my first impressions of this car so far, it's, well, oh my, that was my, my bad, my bad. Ah, Jesus. Um, my first impressions of the cars, and let the record show, I still have to play more, obviously. But it doesn't seem to be all that different than, for example, something like the Gallardo, which is also in Class E, and which is not a pay-to-win car as it used to be a year ago, right? Now you were, in theory, if you were playing at least back then, you were able to get it in the... Um, um, actually, it's been available twice, right? You could get it during the, the Drive Syndicate, and last year, I think it was in December last year, where you could get it. Or was it the year before? I don't even remember, but yeah. Um, no, it must have been the year before. Either way. And just in the previous season, then this one, this, the what is, the Blossom something something, whatever this season is called, the previous one, um, you could also get this car blueprints. In fact, that's how I managed to get the car to four stars. I had it at three, and now I got it at four, and I'm like 10, 15 blueprints away from taking it to five stars, so that would be pretty dope. But yeah, uh, performance-wise, it doesn't feel so, so, so different than the Gallardo. At least that's my first impression of it. All right, we're going to do another in green because that, that one went pretty bad. Now, I'm comparing it with the Gallardo because that is the, the Class C um, elite car that I have the most experience with. I also have the Arenera Husaria. I have driven the McLaren GT. Maybe it's also a little bit comparable with the McLaren GT, although I feel like the McLaren GT feels a bit better at drifting. Seriously, the drifting of this car, even at gold, it doesn't feel very good. Is it just me? I don't think so. Well, I don't know. You, you have to let me know if you think something similar, but to me, this drift doesn't seem to be all that good. Um, I think both the McLaren GT and the Gallardo drift better. Now, there's something like the Arena Husaria, but that is a completely different ballpark. This is a ridiculously fast car with terrible nitro and all of the issues that that, that, that brings, right? But... Yeah, I would say this is somewhat comparable to those two cars. So, the fact that right now there's a Grand Prix for it, yeah, it makes me want to go for it. In fact, I'm going for it on the Grand Prix, but going for it, it just means that I'm going to try to get it by regular means. I'm not going to spend a token on this car because, honestly, it probably is not going to be any good until it's three or maybe even four stars, I would imagine. So, uh, the amount of tokens I would need to spend, first of all, I don't have them. But even if I had them, I don't think, like I said, that this car is that much worth it because I don't feel like it's that much better than the alternatives. Now, I do want to get the car because it's a Mercedes and it has a big wing and you know how I love it. But it's going to be like a lot of my of my uh, Grand Prix cars that I end up getting it through the Grand Prix but only at one star, maybe two stars if things went well. And just like that, I have a bunch of cars nowadays and I'm never using them because they're no good at that star level. But all right, there we go. Four, four races for this thing. Now we're going to have to improvise a little bit. Like I said, we need to refuel. And fortunately, I think that on class C, you get like 40% reduced by ad per ad. Yeah, okay. So this shouldn't take too long. And five advertisement later, advertisement, adverts later, I got my fuel full again. See, this is one thing that I, I, I say about this game. I don't mind watching ads to get the refuels i just mind the fact that for example right now it took five ads but i could refuel it but if we're talking about a class s car i can watch like eight nine ads and i'm still not gonna get the fuel the full refuel that is that is what bothers me that this recovers 40 percent per ad 
while the other one does like 20%. It's such a nightmare. But anyway, uh, we get to change the color again and continue testing this car a little bit because I I do be curious. All right, so with that silver, let's try the matte black. I, that looks kind of nice. I think that also kind of goes well with the, with the Mercedes. So yeah, overall, I, I just feel like this car, it's not that insane of a deal. And like I said, if you have already some of the other cars in Class C, the top of Class C, I don't, think that, I don't think that this is really worth the amount of tokens that you would need to spend in order to max it out. Um, like just for a Class C, I don't know how many thousands of tokens you're going to have to spend. I mean, if you're a full-on collectionist, or what's it called, completionist, well, then maybe maybe that this is your type of, of, of party, you know? But I think for the average Joe that just wants an, a fancy car because, oh, it's a good Class C car, you have better options. Even if you missed out on the both on the McLaren GT and on the Gallardo, which is by the fact that they're not full pay to win, um, they're not common cars by any means. Uh, I still think that Josie Arenera Husaria alone is more than enough to cover the space that this car would be occupying. If anything, like I said, the Husaria is also uh, an elite Class E, at least it is for now. It has been for a long time, but eventually we'll get these thrown. Um, and it goes faster than this, considerably faster, and it also drifts pretty bad. So in that sense, you're kind of—it's kind of similar. Granted, I think the Husaria handles even worse than this, and it has much worse nitro. But overall, if you really want a high-performance Class C car and you don't really have a ton of tokens to spend, I think th that would be the best option as opposed to going for this car. Now, it would be so much better if I actually could test this car against different cars. Because right now, just testing it against itself, it really isn't very telling as far as performance. So that's why, in a way, I wish I could play um, against other regular C-Class cars. Because unless you have like a full-on encyclopedic m memory um, and remember exactly how every single car feels, I think it's kind of difficult to, to judge the performance of this compared to other cars if you're only driving this car against itself, you know? But hey, it is what it is, sadly. At least we get a free try of the car. At least it's, it, it, they're not pulling an asphalt date where, hey, here's a new car. You don't ever get to drive it. If you want it, you got to pay for it and you better hope and pray to all deities that it's actually a good car because otherwise you're going to be wasting your resources. Then again, in Asphalt Day, it's a bit of a simpler uh, transaction. It's like, hey, give me my however many dollars and you get the car and you'll take forever to upgrade, but there it is. The car is yours. As opposed to this where you have to spend, ri spend ridiculous amounts of money or tokens, which are very, not very difficult to get, but very slow to get. So anyway. Yeah, overall, I'm going to say I'm not very I, i'm not amazed at this car i was i don't know was i expecting too much but I, I i don't really think that this is all that amazing i could be wrong now that that is something that i've always said said about asphalt 8 i'll say it about asphalt 9 i'm not the greatest judge of objective measurements because i don't do objective measurements all i say is how it feels to me and so far this car feels to me like eh, it's not that big of a deal. I could be wrong. Could definitely be wrong. I don't know. I gotta say though, it does look great with that big wing. Oh yeah. Beautiful. No thank you. I'm not gonna watch for 5,000. 5, 5, Alright. Alright. Switch back to silver. No, actually I went for white. So that should be... Oh, I think I'm at the very, very back. Okay. Okay, might be a bit of a challenge to get to the front, but we'll see. What can I say? I, I, you know that I'm... Oh, see those slowdowns that I was talking about? Yeah. Um, I'm incredibly biased towards cars with big wings. So the fact that this has a big, big wing makes it look pretty dope. But at the same time, the basic S, uh, Mercedes Benz um, GT, no, Black Series, whatever it is, the, the lower class C one can also have some really nice body kit. It performs like like garbage, but it looks nice. So hey, at least I have another Mercedes that does look good. It kind of reminds me of the situation with the Mercedes, uh, no, excuse me, with the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which is an absolute banger of a car in class in class B, and in class uh, it's at the almost at the top of class B, right? It's hot mid high class B, 
And then you have the other uh, Porsche 911 at the very low end of Class B. So, and you can also put a big wing on it and it also looks pretty nice. But obviously it doesn't perform anywhere near what the GT3 RS does. But hey, at least you can have another <laughs> another uh, Porsche with a big wing. Kind of same thing with this car and the other Mercedes with the big wing. All right, look at that. First place. Lovely. Very lovely. By the way, I'm doing sequential races. Not that it matters much, but yeah, I'm just showing you whatever I get. Be it a good or a bad result. Okay, I'm watching an ad for that. Oh yeah, give me my 25,000. Thank you very much. And now we're gonna do our last point of fuel that we have for the car. We're gonna do it in, not the, the glossy black. We're gonna do it in the glossy darker silver. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, Mercedes silver. You know what? It reminds me of that saying that not all rectangles. No, what? Not all squares are rectangles, but all rectangles. Uh, however that goes. <laughs> How does that go? I guess square rectangle not all rectangles are squares but all squares are rectangles yeah 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 there we go that's that's what i wanted to say um so it's kind of the same thing over here what i was saying about the colors of the mercedes where not all silver cars are mercedes but all mercedes are silver that's kind of what it makes me think about <laughs> and i know not all all mercedes are silver but you get my idea like i said it's a thing that kind of has gotten ingrained in my brain which means that Mercedes did their job right on Okay, sure that that was totally looked very natural game. Oh My slowdown see I'm telling you the slowdowns are kind of annoying They did a really good job at, at, at Creating that brand image of the fancy luxurious silver Mer silver Mercedes, you know So well done well done Mercedes you have created that Oh, and by the way, the, the difference now compared to the other emulator is that over here you do see, like when I'm pressing the nitro button, you can see how it shines on the right side. Yeah. Because in the other one, it was it was registering as if I was playing directly on a keyboard, while in blue stacks, while I'm playing on a keyboard, I have to set it up as if it was a touch screen. So that's why you see me when I, when I make those. Oh, good. Jesus, yeah. Okay, look at that drift. Jesus. That's not, um... Not great, I'll say that. You know what? Please tell me I'm at least on Silver League in Classic. Because now I want to do a bit of a test. Hold up. Hold up. Where am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, what are the rewards here? Probably just an Epic or something? Yeah, an Epic Import part. Some tokens, some credits, some, some imports. All right, so am I at least on Silver? Please tell me. Oh, yes, I am on Silver. You know why I wanted to be on Silver? Because I want to test... The oh Jesus! I want to test my Gallardo. I have it at four stars. Oh, I actually already upgraded all the way to the fourth star. Nice, very nice. I want to test it out and right away feel how it feels right after I have driven the other car and see if I notice a difference. Oh boy! <laughs> right away I'm facing some Class B cars. I guess I'm in the top side of the silver league ah, it doesn't matter in the end i'm not aiming for the performance like oh can i beat those cars no no no. i just want to feel the car you know now let's keep in mind that this is a four stars versus the gold car that i was driving um with that mercedes so my, my main interest is just to check the drift that is my main objective here i want to compare the drift Now, I absolutely adore the Gallardo as a car. I really like it. But the Mercedes has... Oh, yeah, this drift is much better. Right away. Even it was even though I just did a very small drift right there, this felt so much better. Come on. You can't tell me I'm crazy and that was just me. Um, but, yeah, at least the Mercedes has a big wing, which is car doesn't. If it was a Gallardo, the Super Leggera, it would have a wing. Or if it was the... What was the other one that they made? One of the last Gallardos, the Squadra Corse. Gallardo, it also has a big wing, so that would be nice, but oh well. I wish you could customize this car and put a big wing on it. That would be fantastic, but I don't think this car really has customization. Sad. So, something like the relatively useless... Um, 
Lambo Asterion has all that customization, but this fancy car doesn't have it. Thank you, Game Love. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to do another race with this car. Because um, this track doesn't, you know, there's not a lot of places where I can use the drift to fill it out. Oh my god, yes I am. <laughs> that was a five second ad. I love when that happens. Anyway, yeah, let me do another race with this thing. I really need to, to, to fill it out a bit more. I want more places to drift. But yeah, I, I can tell you my, my very first impression in the comparison sense. Ah, Jesus, stop it with it. Okay, okay, be patient, DBT. Ah! See why I hate mobile games and their million pop-ups? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try another one with this car. See, see, I wanna check it out again. Oh, and you know what? I just, oh, come on, is it the exact same track? Well, it's not the, it is the exact same one? Are you kidding me? I wanted a different one. Ah, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I just saw that there's a, that one, the black car, the Ferrari 599XX Evo. That's also a class C. And I'm going to say that that's, yeah, this is exactly the same race I just did. Holy moly. Okay. Um, that actually just got its, its um, what's it called? Key hunt. Oh no, oh no. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh man, it's over spawn over there. Um, yeah, but see, this one, I had to not, when I was, oh, look at all this low sound. Um, when I was doing that, that drift, oh my god, it's slowing down so much. Oh, Jesus, I'm not sure that this is better than the other emulator, guys. Like, yeah, sure, it, it looks better, but the slowdowns are annoying. You see all those slowdowns? Anyway, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, that this that, that car recently got its key hunt, and I gotta admit it, out of curiosity, I did go for the um, what's it called? Oh Jesus Christ! The, the 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 TLE pass. And man, does it make a huge difference? The the thing is that I am also playing the Switch version of of this game, right? And the Switch version is one year behind. We're in the British store, which is one of the best seasons. Uh, I would say that it's the last good season in Asphalt 8 for all the time that I've been playing it. Like, after that, all of the remaining seasons start to go worse and worse and worse. So... And in that one, it was the legendary hunt for the Elva and also for the Roma, the regular hunt for the Roma. And there's a lot of... that's the, That season is great, but there's a lot of, of grinding that you gotta do. So I, I was not going to have time to also grind the living crap out of, of the car hunt in this version of the game. So that is why I, I went for the pass and man, it makes a huge difference. I went from zero to getting the key of that car in like three days, three days and a half. It was crazy and I, I didn't like no life it, but okay. I want to try the McLaren GT because I also have it at four star. So I'm curious to, to fill that one out. So yeah, that TLE pass, I would say, I'm not saying that you should go for it, you know what I mean? I'm not saying, hey, go for it, but if there's a car hunt and you have more... Mm, oh, okay, I know, I know. If you have more money than you have patience or you have time, if you have more money than you have time, then that thing is worth it. It really is. Because you get twice as many uh, packs of blueprints per race. So that literally already cuts the, 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 the time to, to do it by half. Right away. By half. And then on top of that, uh, it makes it so that each race costs one ticket instead of two. So that allows you to do twice as many races uh, in one sitting. You know, instead of just doing five races and then, oh, I gotta wait. Now you can do up to 10 races and then you gotta wait. So that already it's twice as much as before and you get twice as many the the um, the, the packs per race. That means that you are kind of quadding the, 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 the amount of stuff that you get, right? But then on top of that, it also gives you uh, a total of 15 tickets instead of 10, so you can do 15 in one go. Now, granted, that means you have to sit around for 15 races, and it actually it's more like 17 
Oh Jesus, did it did it crash? What happened with him? I was in second and now I'm on first. Cool. Um Yeah, you gotta sit and do all of those races and while you're doing them a couple of your tickets will refill. But overall, I mean, compared to how it normally is, it's such a huge difference. And like I said, in my case, I did not have the time to do it. Like, the normal way to grind it for eight days straight. Eight days straight. So that was actually quite alright. So yeah, if, if, if... Oh, I didn't even see what I beat, but I beat a bunch of dudes. Nice. As I was saying, if... There is a car hunt for a car that you really, really want because it's a really good car or maybe it's a car that you just simply really, really, really want and you don't have blueprints, you don't have any of the car at all. Uh, maybe that is worth it. I mean, granted, again, we're talking about IRL, um, well, real money, right? But if you're willing to spend on the game and given the, the circumstance I presented where it's a car hunt and you just don't have enough time to do it or enough patience, there you go, that's that's a that's a possibility, that's a solution. Like I said, it was way, way, way quicker to, to do. To the to the point where I was half halfway through the week and I was like, oh, I'm already done. What do I do now? And I've been I've not been using my tickets anymore. And the past lasts for two weeks. So I know I think that the next car hunt that did it start already? It, it already started, right? It's for the Pinion Farina, I think. I don't remember what it is, but it's for a car that I already have. So that doesn't mean much to me. It's not like I'm gonna do it. But yeah, this console drifts so much better than the Oh jeez, where did I go? Over here. Drifts so much better than the McLaren. I mean than than the Mercedes. Um But yeah, if, if it's a if if you get the pass, it's gonna be for at least two car hunts. So if one of the car hunts is a good one, well go for it. Again, now, if you have a limited amount of time and patience and you want to just grind it, you can probably still do it in one week. You might still have to spend a little bit of tokens right at the end, which is a couple of uh, what I've done in a couple of car hunts. But, you know, it's it's doable. But overall, I would say that the uh, TLE pass, it's not a bad deal. Because unlike the multiplayer pass, yeah, I mean, I got defeated by everybody. Right now, I'm not testing the performance of the car against the other cars. I'm just... I just wanted to see the drift, and I can tell you confidently that both the, the Gallardo and the McLaren GT drift much better than that car, so I don't know what's the, the attractive, attractive point of the other car. But anyway, just to finish my idea, um, unlike the multiplayer pass, for multiplayer, they cut all of the rewards in half in order to make space for the multiplayer pass, right? So where you would normally get a bunch of tokens, now you don't get them unless you are in there. Um, they cut the, the, the credits in half so that, you know, all of that stuff. So, this is a pass that I'm not too happy about. But the, the TLE pass, or the Daily Events pass, or whatever it's called, that one, it remains to be the exact same thing. They didn't cut anything in half or anything. It's the normal stuff, but on top of that, you get all the additional tickets, the two refills daily, and, you know, like I said, the car hunt, it costs only one ticket now instead of two while you have that pass. So that is indeed definitely something that I think it's all right. I think that was a good monetization move in the side of Gameloft. I've always said that I understand that they have to monetize, but a lot of their monetization in Asphalt Man is absolute BS, in my opinion. Uh, this one, however, the TLE Pass, I think it's all right. So, okay, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you didn't, well, then hit the dislike button. I don't make a ton of content on this version of the game, but now that it looks kind of okay, maybe I'll do a bit more. We'll see. I want to stay a little bit more up to date with what's happening in this version of the game as well. But that's all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and stay safe. Bye-bye.